and welcome to another Bista video. I'm B14. I'm B02. Today we're going to talk about IFAX and medical kits. Okay guys, so we are going to talk about it on this video the importance of having uh, these two items. So the IFAX is something that is going to be always with you on your plate carrier, on your belt or on your pocket, whatever. Uh, the IFAX stands for individual first aid kit and the medical kit is something that has uh, more quantities than the IFAC and it has some extra stuff uh, if you need to. Uh, and it's usually um, on your backpack, on, on your car, on the safe zone or at the respawn. Uh, so somewhere that you can um, get it easily. So uh, the reason for, well, an IFAC is basically because you never know what you're going to encounter on the field. Uh, we all have seen those uh, worst airsoft injuries videos that are uh, out there on YouTube and you get to see some really nasty stuff. I mean, the one that always, uh, um, I mean, uh, impressed me the most is the one from Des uh, Desert Je uh, De Jet Desert Fox. Jet Desert Fox, yeah. When he's just uh, casually uh, going down a flight of stairs and just destroys his leg, cuts it really, really deep and to fix it, to make it... Uh, uh, stop bleeding, he actually has to use electrical tape because that's the only thing that he has on him. So again, an IFAC is just a little kit that you have uh, on you that will uh, allow you to take care of minor in injuries like cuts, bruises, bumps or any rashes, anything that you might have that will prevent you from playing until the real medical assistance arrives. Um, again, this is an, uh, an IFAC for airsoft. Yeah, it's not it's not gonna have anything that's, military or tactical no, stuff. No tourniquets or decompression needles. This is uh, for airsoft only. Okay. Yeah, it's just something to 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 allow you to just you know if you're alone. Sometimes you're uh, you you get separated from your team and you're we're always playing in abandoned places full of uh, hazards like. Uh, I don't know, some metal rods coming from the ceiling or some uh, uh, jagged rocks or some glass or nails on the floor. So you can get hurt. Um, and again, you don't know how long will it take to people to get to, to you or to the place that you are. So it's always good to carry an IFAC or at least some sort of uh, medical assistance kit. It doesn't have to be as complete as this, but just have a couple of things to yeah. uh, allow you to um, like I said, sustain the, 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 the damage by yourself and uh, until somebody arrives to, to, that can help you. Okay, so the, the purpose of first aid is to help someone uh, treat an injury, stabilize that person in order for that someone get the more get more specialized help from an ambulance or whatever. So the IFAC, um, usually there are several brands that make IFAC uh, pouches, so they usually are uh, detachable. So this one is detachable from the plate carrier, and this one that I have, this one is from Templar's gear, by the way. We did a review already. Nice review. Yeah. I like it. And this is from Warrior Soul Systems, and so th these are detachable pouches. This one detaches by Velcro, so that you can use. I got um, one right here. Yeah, actually, you can show it. You just uh, snap that off, and then you can just rip it out. You rip it out. Yeah, so that you can really use your gear in front of you. The wireless soul system uh, one is exactly the same way. Uh, it's, the system is different, you just pull this tab and the effect comes out, okay? So let's talk about uh, what we have uh, and the medical supplies that we have and what they are used for, okay? So what do you got in yours? So, this is what I usually have uh, on me all the time. Uh, so let's start with the basics, uh, band-aids, so band-aids are that really, uh, it's a simple, uh, it's pretty basic, yeah, pretty cuts, basic. Yeah, small cuts, cuts, small injuries, so, even a, a BB, you can take it off and you just use it, <laughs> yeah, it's a really simple, simple stuff, you can get it easily, no problems there, I think I got some band-aids here as well, I do, there you go, there you go. okay, let's talk about another one, bandages, so bandages are a really nice uh, multifunction uh, supply. So you can use it to wrap up uh, a wound. So you get you treat the wound, you disinfect the wound, and then to protect it, you can wrap it wrap it around that injury to protect it from the elements. You can use it to stabilize a wrist or an ankle if you twist your ankle, for example, to stabilize it, to relieve the pain for someone. So 
is also a nice thing to have on your outfit. Plus you have, if you have a cut, you can just wrap it around and yeah. just, it really brings the skin together and can prevent some of that bleeding to just, you know, just a nasty thing. So I have here some latex gloves. Uh, these are nice for keeping you from getting all uh, full of blood from the other person. You don't know if that other person has some kind of uh, disease, contagious disease. Uh, yeah. Nasty. Uh, or if your hands are really dirty and you don't want to uh, put more uh, bacteria uh, on that uh, injury, okay? So the latex gloves are nice for that. So what I have more? Uh, saline. So saline is also a nice, uh, good overall uh, medical supply. You can use it for clean wounds, this effect, you can use it to, uh, for your eyes. Uh, and it comes in small packages and it's inexpensive and it's really nice, okay? So I, I have saline in all my eye facts. You can have something more specific, but it's a nice, nice supply. Speaking about this, just make sure that the packages are, are sturdy and that they can withstand some impact. Because you know, you're jumping around, you're going against walls and everything. If you do have a saline uh, packaging that's not very, um, well, strong, yeah. it may burst and then you have, well, a lot of saline in this here. I'm just, uh, yeah, on your eye factor, yeah. that's no good. So another item is medical tape. So it's nice for a number of things, wrap up wounds, secure wounds, uh, the treatments for that wound. So if you need to use a bandage and then use the medical tape on top of it to secure it, uh, you can use it for your finger. If you bruise a, fring, a finger, you can use it around or Electrical it. tape as well. That, right? that yeah, works, like that Desert works. Fox, okay. Yeah, so, a nice uh, supply to have also in your eye pack. You have the scissors in yours? Of course, scissors here, I have these ones. These are more like for the reenactment style, so the, the trauma scissors. Yeah, but they do cut, right? So yeah, that's, they cut. That's, that's they the cut. whole point, have a pair of scissors because you might need to cut one of your bandages because they're really, really long, even though they come in uh, small packages. When you, when you start taking it out, you realize it's really long, you don't want to use it all, so you can get uh, a pair of scissors to cut that easily. So I also have some gauze. Gauze is nice to just like put some saline and then clean the wounds, uh, or if the wound is already clean, you can put it on top and then use the bandage around it to keep it more secure. So bandages are also a nice item to have. I have as well on mine some uh, hand wash cleaning wipes. Oh yeah. These are really good for disinfecting your, your hands. Like like he said in the beginning, before, uh, if you don't have a pair of gloves, might have uh, to uh, carry one of these around just to quick, uh, quick wipe on your hands so yeah. you're ready to go. That's nice. So another thing that I have, so that this is getting a little more complex, but I have also some adhesive sutures. So not the ones with the, the needle and the, the line, but uh, these are nice to just, a guy gets a really big cut, really deep, cut. deep, yeah. You just use this to close it if you're in an isolated place or if help is taking long to, to get there. You can use these ones, these are easy to use. You just put it on one side and just uh, attach it on the other. So adhesive sutures is something that I have. Again, this is not for you to perform surgery on the field. This is not the purpose of this. This is for you to, well, basically, help. yeah, Just help yourself uh, if you or have someone. or someone if you have something that's, well something like not just a you know not a little paper cut this is something that will actually help you if you have a deeper cut or a bruise or anything like that that requires any of this uh, material again it's not for surgery purposes it's just for you to uh, move from point A to point B until you can get some more dedicated uh, medical assistance for um, your, your your problem yeah. so another one is an hemostatic pencil. Jeez. Yeah, this one is nice because um, uh, it, you just put some water in it and you rub it on the wound. It it will close immediately that injury. Okay, stop the bleeding. So it's, this is really inexpensive. It's a very nice item. Um, there are more expensive stuff that you can use like combat gauze or cellox, but that's really more than what you need and it's a bit more expensive. This is really nice. You just dip, dip it on water and rub it on the, the wound and it will close it. It really works. It's really nice. 
So, do you have any extra stuff on yours? Uh, let me check it out. So, we've talked about the scissors, talked about the cleaning wipes, I got some bandages. Oh, uh, one thing that I do recommend is that I try to keep them all in uh, little um, individual bags mm -hmm. with, a, with a Ziploc if possible because, again, we're playing against, uh, we're playing in all types of weather, rain, uh, extreme heat, uh, uh, conditions are not very good, like dirt flying around everywhere. You want to keep these things as, um, as clean as possible. So again, keeping all things individually packed in their own little packages, it means that when you do have to use them, you'll at least uh, make sure that they weren't uh, uh, dirty or yeah. anything like that. Because if you're applying on an open wound, then you don't want to use it. Well, something that's really, really dirty. Don't, to... don't use stuff that you don't have training for, okay? Don't try to get that complex medical stuff uh, if you don't have training. You can do more damage than good, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, and then the IFAC really depends on the type of pouch that you have. Uh, this one has more organizational uh, space. This is more just like a simple one that detaches. That's why I have it in this bag. Uh, but really just a general purpose pouch uh, will do the job, it's the medical supplies inside that really count. We also advise you to keep a bigger version of this with more uh, equipment in your car. Imagine you do have a, again, I think that injury from Jet Desert Fox is the biggest one I've seen so far in Airsoft because you really see it's really deep the cut. So imagine he has this, he uses this to just seal up the wound and allows him to get to the car so you can later if needed use more equipment that he has um, uh, on the car, like yeah. better bandages or something that's even better to then allow him to get to the hospital or at least to wait for the ambulance to arrive. And don't forget to always uh, signal your IFX. For example, this one uh, has uh, the cross, which symbolizes the, the, the IFX or the medical kit. Uh, some don't have, uh, they only have a Velcro space, and so don't forget to put like a cross or a patching medic for people to know where your IFX uh, is uh, you can you need to, yeah, to use it. Yeah. Uh, so, this was the IFEX. Uh, this is my own personal medical kit uh, that I have on my uh, backpack or on, at the safe zone or at my car. So, it's it has the same stuff that the IFEX has, but in more quantities and a little, little bit more extra stuff, okay? So, this is a general purpose pouch. Uh, uh, this is an uh, admin pouch from Warrior, but it has a lot, of, a lot of space and a lot of organization, as you can see. And what I have here is simply the scissors. Maybe you go like this, yeah. so people can actually yeah, yeah. see what you're doing there, buddy. The, the scissors, uh, this is just a little syringe with not the needle, but the syringe that you can uh, put some saline in if you want to put inside a wound or an eye. Um, a pen, you never know if you need to write something. Actually, a pen is really good uh, if you have to apply a tourniquet, for example. You need to write it, right? Yeah, you need to write it. In Airsoft, using a tourniquet, it, 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 we hope you, we never need to use it, okay? You never know. You never it's, know. it's better to have it and but, not need it than need yeah, it and not have yeah. it. Uh, some thongs, right? Thongs? That's not... Oh. <laughs> It's not the thongs from the thongs. Of the, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Tweezer. That's what you want I'm to say. As a tweezer. Oh Sorry. my God. You're right. <laughs> uh, more medical tape. Okay. Uh, this is a bigger one. Um, thermometer for the temperature. You never know uh, if someone is feeling a little bit fluish or something like that. Just you to see what he has or she. Another uh, hemostatic pencil. I've seen this before. Yes. Yeah. Uh, more latex gloves, again, the same as the IFAC. Uh, more saline. Uh, this is to clean your hands. It's oh, so the, those, have those jelly things, right? Yeah, alcohol yeah. gel, yeah, yeah, to disinfect your hands if you need to. Uh, some those things for see the throat. Or, actually, I've seen this before, yeah. to apply some gel to a wound or something that you don't want to put your hands yeah. in it. So it has a lot of... Uh, uh, functionality yeah. is this little stick, not just ice cream. So, and in here I have my pills. So these are for headaches, uh, diarrhea. You never know. We don't want to get diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. that's for sure. Uh, if you're, 
for some reason you have diarrhea I never thought about that. or you have a headache or you have a tooth pain or you're getting a little bit fluish so uh, some pills uh, that you can buy uh, everywhere again on the pill uh, thing don't forget that most of these have expiration dates you don't want you don't want to be carrying around dated pills if you're carrying around these make sure that at least they are uh, within the, the dates yeah. date, yeah, exactly so more alcohol swaps to clean you can never have enough or your hands so here i have more bandages smaller ones bigger ones okay bandage galore yeah more gauze so bigger ones also smaller ones you never know and of course here i have a lot of more stuff also so i have more anti sutures uh, more gauze some uh, how you call those the little knives to that can oh yeah they can cut yeah the, yeah. the scalpel yeah uh, so that's really what i have on the medical kit so a lot of more stuff extra stuff like the pills um to help someone if that person really needs it okay uh, don't forget about that story about the guy oh yeah we had a guy on our team i don't know if you've seen the video we're gonna place it probably around here somewhere yeah. uh, through the magical of editing it's right <laughs> here so basically, he was. Uh, we're playing in the field, and there was some. Uh, well, like like I said, like I said in the beginning, we play in abandoned places. Most of the times, they're not really thought for the sport. But you know, you play airsoft if you're watching this video, so you know where you play. You've seen the problem, uh, situations in buildings like this. So it has a huge hole, and he just because he doesn't it doesn't realize that he's stepping into it, it just falls uh, on it. Um, on the hole. On the hole. Yeah. It's. A, Pretty big one actually. Yeah, a big one. Big Pretty one. big one. Um, we didn't actually need to use any of this on him because fortunately it yeah. turned out all right. He because uh, before we use the medical kits, prevention is also very important. Okay, so use gloves, a nice pair of boots, helmet. The helmet that saved him for a bigger for from a big injury that day. Actually, the impact was so big that he broke his uh, GoPro mount. GoPro mount yeah. just snapped off. With the force of impact, yeah, it was his his helmet, the, his plate carrier. He does he didn't have real plates, but he has the foam ones, and it protected somehow his back yeah. also. So the prevention is also good. The, the the helmet, for example, on CQB is just not for looks, but it also protects. Um, so guys, this was our little video on IFEX and medical kits. Of course, you could put more stuff. There are maybe some stuff that we don't have here that's useful. Probably, probably. But uh, we, we consider this to be the basic um, equipment to have either on your IFAC, your medical kit, or uh, any actually any pouch that you have. Just yeah. keep, keep a couple of things on you because, like I said, it's better to need it. Sorry, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. <laughs> okay, that's it. So guys, hope you enjoyed. More reviews coming up. Okay, so see you next time. Yeah, stay safe. Yeah.